Oh, oh yeah, it's not bad. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks no, for clicking. No, 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 no. Like, that is so rude. Hi guys. No, I forgot what I was gonna say. Okay, well, today's Wednesday. I tried to record on Monday and um, my camera died. What did I eat on Monday? On Monday, I ate some salad for lunch and then I don't normally eat breakfast, so I never eat breakfast. I had some salad for lunch and then I came home and my husband didn't make me anything, but he was eating waffles wow. and sausage <laughs> and egg toast sandwich. Um, so I made him make me some. And then yesterday I also had salad because um, I haven't been able to cook, so like we didn't really have lunch. So I've just been making, I've just been eating salad, honestly. And then I went to volleyball right after work and I was like, you know what, I've really been in this funk and I just need to go shopping. So I went to Office Max and I bought some stuff for church. And then I went to Home Goods and tried to get some stuff for the house. And there was a few things that I saw that I liked, but anything over $30, I don't really want to spend money on. <laughs> unless I really think about it and I know that I need it, and also unless it's from Amazon. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, the radio is still on. Hold on, let's, let's turn this off. Anyway, so after Home Goods, I went and got some In N Out because my husband's about it fluid. But I was thinking about it already because I was already there. So today I cooked and I kind of messed it up because this is the first time I made this and I did it without a recipe. So I don't know if you guys remember, I posted, my husband made some of the sesame chicken from my favorite like paleo YouTuber. Um, he made sesame chicken and it had this sauce that reminded me a little bit of like Elephant bar stir fry like I don't know if you've tried elephant bars vegetable stir fry like way back then I don't think they serve it anymore, which is why I'm like super craving it, but I tried to Recreate that pretty much and I'm dumb. I didn't realize how long it would take for some sauce to like um, Reduce so uh, Now my veggies are soggy, but it's fine. It tastes good though. Does it taste good? You like it? This is what it looks like. So what I did was I pan fried the chicken first in some oil and like garlic. And then um, I made the sauce, cut up all the veggies. And then I should have put the sauce while the rest of the chicken was finishing up so that it can you know, cook and reduce and everything. And then put the rest of the veggies. But I put it all together pretty much so that was my mistake. How do you feel about it? Do you like it? It's super good. What do you mean super good? I don't mind the vegetables not being crunchy. Mm -hmm. The flavor is like there. Yeah. This week I haven't, well I mean it's only Wednesday so we're halfway through the week but I haven't been eating any really like bad food. Well so actually, actually ate in and out yesterday. <laughs> And I had fries too. And I had fries. So besides the fries, I haven't had a lot of like major carbs. Only like salad. Salad and then whatever was like the dressing. So that's like kind of high in sugar, huh? But I mean, I'm eating my veggies and that's all that matters, right? Cause like, I mean, this is Kali, right? Nice. Nice. Yeah, see? Kali rice. Oh my gosh! Are you okay? I stepped on you. Pretty much twice. All right, guys, I'll see you if I record something tomorrow. All right, bye. Don't mind my lashes. Um, I had a scare just because I thought I had a sty, but I think it was just like a pimple or something because I accidentally popped it. And then I put castor oil, which is supposed to be antibacterial. And yeah. All right, so. Today is Tuesday, and it's been six days since the last time I actually talked to you guys. So, I'm just gonna recap it again. Honestly, my videos have been getting so redundant because I eat the same thing all the time. I feel like it's getting kind of boring, so let me know in the comments below what you wanna see from me, because I don't really eat out very much anymore. I mean, except when I'm like really craving, like this weekend, but I totally forgot to film it. 
But anyway, so on Thursday, nothing really new. I pretty much just ate the same thing. Guys, I never showed this to you. Look, look. look. I meal prepped our dog's food. <laughs> Friday, it was an interesting day. So I always have island tucky on Friday as long as the food truck is out there by work. And I tried their fur cocky fries. And oh my gosh, it had so much flavor. And then I also had poke because I need to have it. <laughs> but this time I tried the spicy one and that one was pretty good too, but I think I like their shoyu ones a lot better. After that, I went to Costco with some friends because we had an event that night at church and we needed to buy a bunch of stuff, so we all went together. I had an acai bowl from their cafeteria. I do have another friend that makes an even better acai bowl, so if you're in Vegas, try to find my acai because it is so good, like trust me, after you have hers, like nothing else, I I don't think anything else can compare to that. I actually bought paleo granola bars. Oh, you know what, let me show you. I showed you guys before this granola. Ow, I just poked my eye. But because I don't really like cinnamon that much, it's, it's okay to me. Hey, excuse me. So I got these from Costco when we were there, because they say paleo on it. I'm really glad I got those ones because those taste so much better. It tastes processed and when I tried, when I gave some to Amin, like uh, he was like taking a nap and I just shoved one in his mouth. <laughs> he was like, no, I can't have that. And I was like, it's paleo, just look at it. Oh, you know what? I didn't even show you the ingredients on the back. It also has cocoa, which technically is not really paleo because that's processed, but cacao is fully paleo. So besides those two things really, that's the only non-paleo things. Which That's what kind of sucks about things like these is like you have to really read into it because sometimes they won't even say like if it says like vegan friendly, sometimes there's ingredients in there that are not vegan but overall like a majority of it is vegan. Anyway, next, let's just move on. When I got at Costco for the activity that we were having Friday night, I got um, charcuterie pretty much. It was pretty good, I only tried one meat Almost immediately after that, I had a poop attack and I really needed to poop so bad. And yeah, it was not even the good kind of poop, you know, it was like too soft. Okay, TMI, that's my poop attack story. <laughs> after my poop attack, I was pretty much fine. I ate so much cookies. <laughs> cookies, I was fine after, after that first poop. So I had more meat and more cheese and it was so good. I loved it and I had grapes piece of pizza. I feel like I ate a lot that night, but I don't know if it was just because it was a lot of stuff that I wasn't used to eating anymore. There was still enough time to go to volleyball that night, so I went and visited them. They had Wawa lemonade there, which if you've tried their lemonade, it is the perfect lemonade for a hot summer day because it's so refreshing. So try them out if you're in Vegas. Saturday, my aunt had a surprise birthday party. I was in charge of the dessert, so I asked my friend, hey, could you make two cakes for me really quickly <laughs> for tomorrow? And she was like, yeah, sure. But little did I know, my husband was ordering at the same exact time I was. Like, he ended up getting some mochi cookie dough, which I have the last one here. I ate half already. I'm just trying to show you the inside of it. It's ube on the inside, and I don't know if, I think it's just like original flavored like mochi, but these are really addicting. I didn't think I would like them that much because it's like two really gooey like textures, but oh my gosh. Everything she makes is so good. I ended up ordering like another 50 strawberries from her 
because they're just so delicious. I gave it to my aunt for her birthday. For her birthday, actually, there was Filipino food. So we had lumpia, we had like pork, chicken, and like beef, some kind of barbecue. I want to say there was punset also, but all of the punsets that I know is just the glass noodle kind of punset. I don't know if there's like a thick noodle punset. I feel like I said punset so much. I can get lumpia every single day for the rest of my life. We went to get boba. I usually go for like really basic things because if I like their basic stuff, then I'll I'll be more like inclined to try new things. Unless they have like something that they're known for that's like weird, then I'll get it. So I tried their tiramisu cheese latte. I was very impressed with that. It's kind of thick though because it's the cheese like foam on top. Yeah, I was surprised that I actually like that because I don't like foam in my drink at all. Like, I'm, that, no, no thanks. And then on Sunday, embarrassingly enough, we went to Fukumimi Ramen twice on Sunday. And the first time we got ramen, which is just like our normal order, and then we got gyoza. And then the second time we went was with friends that night. And we got karaage, which is their fried chicken. We got spicy and then we got honey glaze and the honey glaze is always like my favorite because it's sweet and then I got like a kimchi bowl just to have like some rice with my chicken after that we went to go to La Flor de Michoacan I think I think that's how you say it don't judge me because I've been saying it wrong this whole time and then I was corrected and I'm still not sure if I'm saying it right but La Flor is ice cream. I don't know what it is with their ice cream, but it's so freaking delicious. I usually get strawberry cheesecake. This is one of my favorite places in the entire world. Um, Rocky Road. Rocky Road. Rocky Road. Rocky Road. This place. I love it here. Can we look here? Pretty much had leftovers on Monday. I had a salad and then the leftovers from Saturday. Um, lots of Filipino food. And then I made these chicken wings. I made some chicken wings in my air fryer. I did not add anything. I just threw them in the air fryer, 380 degrees for 25 minutes, which I honestly think was too long if you're gonna reheat them. But either way, it came out really good. It was just really tough today because I reheated most of them. But yeah, oh my gosh, I'm like really impressed. I don't know, maybe it's because I really like this lumpia sauce. It's like two, two bowls of lumpia sauce. Like this is the lumpia sauce that we took home. That's just what I'm dipping my chicken in, but it's so good, you guys. I don't know what like is different because usually I don't like lumpia sauce. I like my lumpia with vinegar, but this stuff is like really good. Maybe because it's like extra sweet, but it's not as thick. So yeah, I don't know. I like it. <laughs> oh, also yesterday I made some more stir fry, but um, yeah, it's just boring. I did it a little bit better this time, but I think what I'm gonna do next time is just throw the chicken in the air fryer so it's crispy, and then reduce the sauce in a pan by itself just so it like reduces so it can actually stick to like the vegetables and the chicken. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Thanks for listening to me talk, you guys. I really feel like I'm just getting like so redundant, especially like lately because I haven't been taking pictures of my food or like anything really. I haven't been taking pictures I haven't been taking pictures I haven't been doing videos really let me know what else you guys want to see because honestly at this point these videos are for myself just to like track what I'm eating and like how I'm feeling I need ideas is this entertaining to you guys like me just talking I want this to be more entertaining since I'm posting it and like putting it out there because I was supposed to go to the gym this week and I, that did not happen. I completely forgot. Like I knew I had to do something and I forgot that my goal this week was to go to the gym. But anyway, yeah, let me know. Leave some comments below and leave some tips for me or like suggestions, things you want to see because I want to be more entertaining. I just like, I don't know. I'm trying to like wrap my mind around all of these different things at once and I'm getting like sidetracked. Since I'm talking about how I'm feeling, I've been feeling a lot better. For some reason, I've been staying up a lot later, but I think that's because I've been doing these coasters. So I actually got my first official order for a wedding, I think sometime last month. Now I'm finally starting on them. And I put it out there into the universe and on social media. <laughs> now I have a shop, so shop Jamie Janine on Instagram. Message me there. Anyway, so sorry, I got sidetracked. Yeah, I've been staying up late because I've been working on those 
Um, so I've been a little bit more tired, but not to a point where I need to take a nap. So I think that is coming from the food that I've been eating is that I actually have enough energy to be up all day and then sleep late. So it's not good for you, don't do it. It hasn't been that bad. On Friday, I actually weighed myself and I finally broke my plateau, but then because I ate so much, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I pretty much gained, gained it all back. Yeah. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and your family, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to click the post notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Thanks, guys. See ya, suckers.